What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I just want to do a quick video on where I'm at with my build, what's left to finish the build. And at the same time, I could test out this new GoPro Hero 7 my wife got me. Uh, she definitely does support the sport. She supports my passion about it and I really got to give her a lot of thanks for it. So um, in the description, I'm gonna leave a link to her photography that she has in her Instagram. That way you guys could check her out. But let's go and take a look at this motor. So here's the motor guys. And she is pretty fresh. So it's a B20B, that's the bottom end. It's a GSR head up top. Got the timing belt on already. Going around stuck stock cams, stock cam gears. But other than that, the motor's pretty much fully built. And that's for the LS VTEC conversion. Well, V20V Tech, the same thing. But now you guys have a pretty good view of how this motor is coming out. So as far as the head goes, I have SuperTech valve springs, SuperTech retainers. I also have a SuperTech lost motion valve assembly, which pretty much preloads my VTEC. So whenever it pops, she's going. And then as far as the block goes, I do have ACL race main bearings, rod bearings, thrust washers. I have a polished crank. I got Skunk 2 forged pistons. I'm sorry, Skunk 2 forged rods. I got CP pistons. Got the, pretty much everything. Pretty much everything for the bottom end. So she's gonna be hopefully pushing anywhere between four, 450, maybe 500 horsepower. I do have a super tech block guard as well, obviously a new head gasket. So um, this is gonna be pretty fun. I do have a type R um, water pump, type R oil pump. So um, pretty much trying to push some nice power off of this. The valve cover's not on just yet. I still gotta get my turbo manifold. Once I get the turbo manifold, I can pretty much see where I'm gonna make the holes on the valve cover for the catch can. You know, I don't wanna do the holes now, weld the bungs, and then put on the turbo manifold, and then it doesn't fit on right. So pretty much all that's left is getting an intake manifold, getting my turbo manifold. I'm gonna get a new turbo as well, and a new turbo kit. But that's pretty much it, really. The wiring harness is all done already. Um, I got the shell here, so from now it's just pretty much getting this all together. So, um, just wanted to show you guys this video real quick so you can see where the motor is at, where the build is, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, and I'll see you guys on the next one.